Hi guys! Are you struggling with the limitation of your Ethernet network? Frustrated by 100 meter distant barrier? Well, today we have the solution you've been looking for. And in this video, I'm going to show you top 3 common ways to extend your Ethernet network beyond 100 meters. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll do our best to address them in the future videos. And please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, to support our work. The transmission distance limit of Capri cables, especially Cat5e and Cat6, is an important consideration when setting up on Ethernet network beyond 100 meters, because signal degradation and data loss can occur, impacting the network performance. So to extend the Ethernet network beyond the distance limit of Capri cables, Ethernet extension solutions are required. And these solutions enable the transmission of Ethernet signal over longer distances, allowing for the network expansion and connector of remote devices. So now I'm going to showcase three effective ways to reach long distances. The first one would be the PoE extender kit, second is the fiber media converter, and the third one is the wireless network bridge. So now let's move on to the demonstration board. I'm going to show you how to use our PoE extender kit. So this is our PoE extender kit. It contains one 30 watts PoE injector and a PoE extender to extend for another 100 meters. Now we are going to use them together. And actually it has two different methods for the PoE extender kit. For the first one, I'm going to show you now. As you can see, we have an injector here with the router at the beginning. And in the middle, we have the PoE extender to extend for another 100 meter and extend the data to another router here. So now I'm going to show you how to connect them together. So first, I'm going to use an Ethernet cable here to connect our router to our PoE injector. We have two ports. Let's put it in the LAN port over here. And this is the PoE output port. I'm going to use this 100 meter Ethernet cable to connect to the PoE output port. So now it will inject 30 watts of power into the 100 meters Ethernet cable. And then I'm going to plug it in our PoE extender. And there's an input port and an output port. Make sure you plug it into the input port over here. Plug it in here. And using another 100 meters Ethernet cable, here we go. And you can mount it on a DIN rail. So let's come over here for another 100 meters Ethernet cable. And I'm going to plug it into the router. And this is how you extend the data for, an one, for 100 meters. So now you have total 200 meters PoE extension. So now I'm going to show you the method to using the PoE extender kit. And for this time, we need two pairs of them. So I already put one set over here and the other set by the edge. And for this method, we can achieve up to 300 meters data transmission. So let's do it from the beginning. And for this method, actually, that's a little bit tricky. Now I'm going to use the Ethernet cable to connect our router to our PoE extender first. And instead of putting it into the input port, we are going to plug it into the output port like this and then use another short patch cord to connect to the input port and then plug it in with our PoE injector. Actually, in this case, our PoE injector is injecting power for our PoE extender. So it can extend the Ethernet network to 300 meters. And for this LAN port, we are going to use the 300 meters Ethernet cable to connect with it. So this is how we're going to set it up. This is the 300 meters Ethernet cable. And when we come over to the edge, 
we're going to plug it into the LAN port of the injector. Use another short patch cord, PoE output port. For this time, we are going to plug it into the input port of the PoE extender. So now the injector is powering up our PoE extender, so our extender can transmit 300 meters Ethernet network. Use another Ethernet cable to connect to the output port. And connect to the router. And you can see the indicated lights are all on. This is how we set up 300 meters Ethernet network using two PoE extender kit. So the PoE extender kit has plug and play feature for easy installation. Also, it can provide safety and reliability, especially for the method two of the PoE extender. As you can see, there's nothing else in between, only the 300 Ethernet cable for a continuous run. And even though if you have to put the PoE extender outdoor, it is IP67 waterproof. So all you need to do is fasten up your neck and the gland with a wrench and you can prevent water or dust to get in. So now we're done with the PoE extender kit, let's move on to the fiber media converter. Now those are the fiber media converter and we are using the fiber optic cable for the transmission. Fiber optic cable can provide high speed, low latency and longer distances up to even 20 kilometers. And the media converter here is to convert the fiber optical signal into electrical signal. Since most of the edge devices are not supporting optical signal but using electrical signal, that's why we need those kit for the fiber optic extension and last one is our wireless bridge I'm going to show you those are the wireless bridge all you need to do is place them facing each other like this if you are in a situation where pulling an Ethernet cable is impossible the wireless bridge will be your best option and thank you very much for watching and if you're interested in how to use the fiber optic cable or the wireless bridge, here's a video on how to use them to extend your Ethernet network.